Hey there, how's it going? I hope that you're having an awesome day and I wanna let you know, I just, I appreciate you taking the time out of your day to check out where I am with Pan That Palette. If you're new to my videos, I have spent 2022 really getting to know and love my Nabla side-by-side -side palette. I've been panning palettes for a long time, so if you wanna check out previous videos, I, I found that this is very similar to a lot of the neutral palettes. Um, that I've been able to pan in the past um, in terms of looks and whatnot. So go on and check out some of those videos if you want some inspiration to um, work on some eyeshadow in your collection because I have found like, I found my groove. Like I'm, I'm panning shadows. I'm so excited to show you my progress because April has been just as exciting um, in terms of progress as I had in the update before. So without further ado, let me show you where I was with my novel palette in the last update. And this is where we are currently. I love, 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 love this palette. And as you can see, I have been able to pan pretty much the majority of four shades out of this palette. I know the one that I had really been focusing on um, last month had been the um, halftime shade, which was a just neutral warm brown. I love to use it in my transition area. And then I also was using Paradiso, which is a very warm gold. Um, I also went through with Ray of Light and with this shadow called Body and Soul over here. I used them on my eyes. I used them as highlighters. Super, super great. And as you can see, I've expanded the pans in the um, kind of the reddish browns down here. And then these two shadows right here, I use these in my eyebrows. I know that I talked about it last update. And then I also use the um, clan shade to go on and deepen up my outer corners of my eyes. I will also use it as a liner if I want, just something soft and pretty for the day. And then that is obviously how I'm going through this um, matte black down in the bottom corner is going through with it as a liner. So let's talk about what I've learned so far from this palette. Formula wise, it has been kind of all over the board in terms of using the shadows. I have found that the mattes are very powdery, so you definitely want to be gentle um, as you tap your brush into the powder. Otherwise, as you can see by how dusty this palette is, even when I've wiped it down, it's, it's a mess. Um, it's just par for the course something to kind of keep in mind. Um, if you're wanting to kind of get a feel for the brand, the shadow formula is very similar to Lorac's formula to me, um, except with the shimmers. One of the things I've noticed about the shimmers is they're a little bit more, I don't want to say the word is sticky, but when I was going through shades like Ray of Light and Body and Soul down here, even Paradiso, which was that really warm gold. I found that once you hit pan, you would you would generally have a little bit of an explosion of, of shadow every time you tapped your brush into the pan. But that being said, you could also repress those shadows without adding any additional product like isopropyl alcohol. Like all you had to do was take a uh, piece of paper towel and like literally press the color back down into the pan and it would stay there. So just wanted to share that tip with you um, that that was kind of a convenient find because I was able to literally use the entirety of those shadows without having to repress them. So bonus. Um, as I went through with halftime, I did get to the point as I went around the edges of the pan that it was starting to splay my bristles. So I went on and repressed that shadow and I was able to finish it up. But these these three shadows right here literally were just very, very easy to repress. One thing I will say, the body and soul shade, I have been a little bit back and forth with the shadow. It's a very kind of a rosy pink light shade. I had a lot of trouble getting it to show up on my lid. So I ended up using it as a highlighter, like a face highlighter. I would mix it with Ray of Light and use it on my cheeks because the combination was quite similar to MAC Soft and Gentle. But one of the things that I really just didn't appreciate about the formula was that every time I would use my highlighter brush to grab some color, it would just literally explode everywhere. Um, and that's why I've been able to literally finish it off as quickly as, as I have. I mean, you can still see a little bit of remnants of it um, in the corners of the pan, and I will go back through with my highlighter brush and use it, but it's gotten to the point where I'm just kind of like, I'm done, you know what I mean? Um, in terms of what's going on with the rest of the palette, I have loved 
the look that I've been wearing, which is this burnt gold. And in fact, we're gonna talk about this in just a second, but I have found a tandem palette that works quite well, and that is the Lorac Pro Palette in Soleil. So I am still currently working on the two red and shadows. I love to mix these together to use as a crease shade because this one is just so deep on its own on my skin tone that it's not very flattering, but this one's too light. And so I talked about in the previous video that I love mixing these two together. I also go through and use the matte brown or clan and beauty mark i mix them together to use in my brows so i get a little bit of a lighter effect now that my hair is lightening up but i also really love to use clan i mean in my outer corner if i want a soft liner for the day um, so what i do is i take a sigma um, pencil brush and really kind of carve out my outer corner and then i blend it in with a real techniques dome brush and then I will go along and use it. Sometimes I'll use it on my lower lash line. Like right now I'm still using a combination of these reddish browns because one of the things that I'm kind of on the fence about is continuing the capsule wardrobe of going on and finishing out those shades and then going into the rest of the palette because like this combo down here, I kind of have my eye on to pan like as we get into the fall and winter this year and then i have some combinations of what i want to try with these shimmery browns but at the same time oh well and even this kind of rosy pink up here but at the same time i'm not as inspired um to use them at the moment so we'll talk about what's going on in a minute and also i kind of want to keep making progress on this matte black down here and then also this uh matte kind of a creamy white in the corner called rarity so this is where we are currently i plan to hopefully have I don't know if I could finish it by the end of May, but I think we're going to be able to see some side pan in Clan. We'll definitely see some side pan in Beauty Mark. And then let's put a goal out there of I want to see some side pan in Rarity by the time we get into May's update. And the reason I say that is because let's kind of talk about where we are with Lorac Pro Soleil. As I was going through my palettes because I wanted to find a backup shade to Paradiso because I actually love the look that I'm wearing right now. It's, it's something that is very easy for me to do every single day. It's super flattering. I get loads of compliments on it and it's a way for me to use a lot of those orangey golds in my collection. So as I started finishing that shade, I went through and I couldn't help but notice how similar this palette is to the new, the Nabla palette. I mean, this isn't the only one. If you have any warm tone palettes, there are tons of similarities between them all. It's just kind of blatantly obvious when you put them next to each other. So what is what I did is I went straight into this burnt gold down here, which I had already hit pan in um, when I started this challenge because I worked on it when I did, was it when I did the back to, or no, maybe it was last year when I did the pan, kind of the hybrid of pan those eyeshadows and pan that palette. I don't remember to be honest off the top of my head right now, but I had hit pan in this previously, but literally when I put it on my eye, I got the exact same effect to Paradiso, so I've kept it going. And at, you know, at this point, I'm kind of wanting to see how many pans I can hit in this palette just out of sheer curiosity because as I finished Ray of Light, I have been going into these two shades over here. I like to put them in my inner corner of my eye to give me a really soft sheen. Um, Actually, I apologize. It's not these last two, it's these two. This is the one I'm wearing today on my inner corner to kind of give me a little bit of a sheen. Or if I want something a little bit more pink, I will go in with this shade. This one's a little bit closer to the Nabla um, shade. Let me show you a swatch since I don't have the, the uh, ray of light shade anymore. But that's to kind of give you an idea of what I'm working with. And I just apply it on a fluffy shader brush into my inner corner and they're really really stunning on the eyes to just kind of give a little zhuzh to the look and take down let's be honest take down some of the orange in the gold because let me show you what that gold looks like since this is a dupe so here we are there's the shade from Lorac but this is what Paradiso looks like on my eyes so that's been a fun way to, to segue into another palette and as I finished halftime I first started with a combination of using these two shadows together because I don't like how orangey Winnie the Pooh this shade is on my eyes. So I like mixing it with this one to kind of tone it down a little bit. But this shade all the way over here is a much closer find um, to what halftime was. And so this is what I'm currently wearing in my transition. 
So that gives me another option um, to use some more shadow. And I also figured like once I finish Rarity down here, I can go back into this matte cream up here and then finish that off. And that literally gives me what, four or five shades that I'm gonna be able to hit pan and additionally. And then the other thing I'm liking using is this kind of a salmon, uh, kind of a matte salmon color. There's a Juvia's Place color that I've been wearing for the past couple of months to blend out my crease. And then I also like to use it as a blush because it translates very well with the MAC Peaches blush I'm wearing. So I'm wearing this Lorac shade up here. I just like it to add a little bit of oomph and some depth back into my eye look. And again, it tones down the oranginess of that gold. And so I love pairing all these together. As you can see, they go really well. And then pair in an espresso brown and it's perfect, perfect. And then it's an easy way for me to wear that black liner too where it doesn't look just completely harsh against my eye, you know what I mean? Because as my hair gets lighter, that's one of the things I'm like, okay, I wanna get this out of my system and enjoy wearing like really, really intensely warm colors right now um, because it's just, it's fun, I enjoy it and I found a way to kind of make it work a little bit better. I mean, last year around Thanksgiving, I was kind of having a little bit of a struggle bus with wearing warm shadows because when I saw a picture of myself around Thanksgiving out in the sun and my hair was so light I was like all right it's a little bit weird looking but um I've, I've come to terms with it and I'm really enjoying it so I want to take advantage of my natural gravitation to these palettes and really just enjoy using them while I've got the motivation so that being said I am going to update you on where this palette is next month because even though it's gonna stall my progress on this palette a little bit, I'm gonna keep using the gold shade and just kind of keep doing what I'm doing for the next little bit because I want to finish off this MAC blush in Peaches. I have this in my vanity pan update. Um, I just, I need to film the update for that. I, I've had this whole project pan going for a couple of months, but I just, I haven't been as motivated because I'm literally wearing the same makeup like every single day. <laughs> and I'm just like, when it comes to filming the video, but I'm finally making progress on some of the items that have really taken me a long time. So I promise that's coming. But this is one of the ones that was really taking me a long time and I stalled out for a little bit, but this is my MAC blush and peaches. So now that I can see that the end is in sight, this is where we are. I'm gonna go on and keep wearing this gold um, kind of capsule makeup wardrobe until I finish this blush and then we're gonna kind of move forward. So I hope it doesn't stall my progress too much because what I've realized with this formula is it takes about three to four months, just as most formulas typically do. But as I look at the palette and I kind of time out, okay, if this look took me about four months to completely get through and I've got the gray shadows that are gonna take me about four months, and then I've got these kind of rosy browns. I'm not going to be able to finish by the end of the year. We'll, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens because I, I feel like I'm still going to be thrilled with my progress because I'm also going to be able to update you on what's going on with this palette because I do intend to fully embrace using this as a companion for the rest of 2022. So we'll see what happens. You know what I mean? Um, the other thing I wanted to talk about because I've received some great ideas of things that I want um, to do with some of the shadows and try them out because the looks that I have tried so far I have not been as impressed with these rosy tone browns um, And I think part of it is because it's taking me back to my days of panning amaretto from the Too Faced chocolate bar palette And that was one of the shades that I was kind of on the fence about like I, it was an easy shade to pan But I also got very bored um, And so I want to try out some things because like I said, I've, I've you know, seeing other people's great ideas. I want to try some of them out um, and just see what I think. But right now, like I'm so in that gold moment that I just don't want to leave it. But I do want to share with you kind of what's in my head of what I'm thinking in terms of moving forward with panning. After I finish this MAC Peaches blush, I was thinking about tackling. I have another Clinique Cheek Pop. Y'all know how the struggle is with the Clinique Cheek Pop, that Cola Bob shade. It's still around, just so you know. But, um, I have this Clinique shade in Black Honey and I thought that might pair quite nicely with shades like Better Society, Cedarwood, um, and Magic Moment from the Novel palette. And then I also have a uh, tube of Clinique Almost Lipstick in Black Honey. And so that would be a way. And then the other thing, this is kind of all over the place. 
The other reason I wanted to kind of keep on painting the gold look that I'm wearing now is because I'm painting two lipsticks um, for the vanity pan. The first one is the one I'm currently wearing on my lips. It's a MAC lipstick in the shade Mocha. Love this. It's a really warm tone nude. So as you can see, it's, it's a my lips, but better, but it's definitely like, there's a lot of warmth to this lipstick. It is quite flattering, um, but I found that it kind of works the best with this kind of combo on my eyes. And it, it, it doesn't clash too horribly um, with the gray that's coming in on the sides of my hair over here, as you can see, you know, it's, it's starting to fill in a little bit more in the front than it did before. So I'm, I'm a little bit more aware of it. Then the other lipstick, Okay, this is another reason why the vanity pan took, is taking me a little bit longer to update. So I wanted to pan this lipstick over here. It's a MAC lipstick and cream in your coffee. Now, one of the things I've realized as I pan the eyeshadow from the Novel palette is that this lipstick has a lot more pink in it. So let me give you a swatch because to compare mocha and cream in your coffee. So here's cream in your coffee. As you can see, it's my lips but better, but definitely more pink. And then compare it with mocha because there were so many like times I would put cream in your coffee on my lips and then wear it throughout the day. This one's mocha over here. And when you look at it with the gold, like it just cream in your coffee, excuse me, cream in your coffee just looked a little bit off. And I got to a point where I was just, I wasn't loving the look. I was ready to throw in the towel on the eyeshadow. And then I was feeling a little bit frustrated with the palette, even though I was making progress. And finally, I just kind of told myself, it's like, girl, pick another lipstick <laughs> from your drawer. And when I pulled out Mocha and started wearing it, I fell in love with the look again. So that's where I am. And, it, and again, like it kind of stalled my progress. I'm like even wanting to update for the vanity pan because I, I went through that lull of just kind of asking myself, like, why are you doing this? <laughs> you know, why did you sign yourself up for this? But I, I'm, I'm continuing to pan those products and, and like this and the lipstick were two big, like major walls, very big walls for me. So like I said, I'm going to keep moving on, moving forward um, next month. Like I said, let's make the goal. I want to hit side pan in these three shades, maybe even hit some side pan in these, in these browns. And the other, the other reason I didn't want to just necessarily stray into the rose gold kind of um, reddish brown vibe all over my eyes is because I still want to keep using this matte black to make some progress. And I prefer like a matte espresso liner when I wear shades like this. So I know it's going to like massively stall my progress. And this shade over here, up at the top, which the Bonjour, which is the shade I plan to use kind of as a transition. That's another shade that I felt a little bit more on the fence because on my skin tone, it's not quite having the effect that I wanted to do. So I'm debating about maybe trying to mix it with one of these lighter shades from the Soleil palette because I've got this shade up here that's kind of a creamy color. It's got some pink to it, but it's pretty light or this really light toned um, matte brown over here. Maybe that'll be a good way to kind of deepen the Bonjour shade up a little bit. I don't know, like I'm gonna have to figure something out, but either way, this is gonna be a palette that continues to kind of stay along for the ride and the update and we'll see what happens. So I know this update was a little bit all over the place, but that's where we are. <laughs> That's where we are. Oh, I guess before I leave, I want to talk about another dupe that I found. So if you're wanting a dupe for Burnt Sienna, this one's kind of close. And it also made me want to pull out, let me go on and show you, um, because I feel like this palette is just appropriate all across the board for 2022 anyway with color of the year and whatnot, um, is the uh, BH Cosmetics Blueberry Muffin Palette. So let's talk about this real quick, because as I was looking through the dupes, um, this was another palette that really caught my attention because there are some colors that are similar to what's going on with the um, Novel palette and even with the Lorac Pro Soleil. So besides having the, the periwinkle shades, which are on trend for color of the year right now, I was also kind of taking a, a look at this plummy purple up at the top. This is kind of where I'm thinking I want to go when I start painting the Better Society of the Cedarwood Bonjour those shadows from the Nabla palette because I think that this purple is going to take down some of the 
some of the raisin, raisiny kind of like boring brown vibe out of those shadows that I think that I'm probably focusing too much on. Um, we'll see. Um, but then also this shadow right here, again, is quite similar to Burt Sienna and Tempera. So I figured that would be a good way to segue if I still want to wear this gold look or whatnot. And then I also thought about Sweet in terms of a ray of light as I kind of jump into another palette. But I really want to make some progress on that Lorac Soleil palette. So that's where we are. Um, and the other thing I'm kind of thinking too is I might mix in, I mean this, there's this gray in here also called Treat that's lighter than the gray called Cubism in the Novel palette. But I thought if I want to do like an all matte gray look, if I don't want to use the Love Ritual, shade because let me show you down here this one um from what i've gathered and kind of tried out once or twice this shade is a little bit more difficult to blend so this may be something that i'm popping into my outer corner and just kind of working with there stamping it onto my eyes but i'm curious like as we get into fall and winter like i have no desire to wear this look right now but that's something i kind of have in my back pocket for later but let me know because um, I know, like I said, I know a lot of you have given me some fabulous ideas that I'm so excited to try um, in terms of using some of these shadows. I was surprised that this one's a lot lighter than it comes across in the pan, but also with this rose gold shade up here, like I'm curious what I'm going to kind of vibe with as we get further into the year, but I'm definitely kind of feeling these looks more in like August and September not necessarily in May, like April and May, like right now, like I'm all about the gold. And as we get into summer, I think I'm still going to be all about the gold. And that that's another thing that's kind of surprised me. Like I love to pan looks. I mean, that's been my jam for the last couple of years. That's what works for me in terms of making progress. But I'm really surprised at the fact that I am not getting bored with the same look. I mean, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's good because I, I really am craving the progress that I have not had. Um, in terms of Project Pan in the last couple of years with pandemic and everything. So it's nice to be getting my groove back on that front. But at the same time, it, it's made me pause and think again of like, okay, what's my attitude towards my makeup collection right now? And, and just kind of go through the process of thinking. And I'll catch you next time because I've got a busy day ahead. So take care and I will see you very soon. Adios.